All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh, We want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and the Shalom to the elect. Now, today we out on the highways and byways. This is the Baltimore camp for GMS. We're coming out here on the highways to let, to uh, search out and fish out the elect of Israel. You know, we letting our people know that the so called Negro, the, the, the black, so called black man that you see walking up and down the street, uh, the uh, Hispanics, you know, the Puerto Ricans, all the way so called, all the way down to Mexicans. The Native Americans, all the Israelites, you know, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, Zebulun, Ephraim, Manasseh, Gad, Reuben, Naphtali, Asher, and Issachar. Those are your forefathers. Those are your original forefathers, you know, like your great grandfather, your great, great, great grandfather. Well, these are your grandfathers. These are your fathers right here. The reason why they call Israelites is because Jacob, Jacob's name was changed to Israel. All right? So that's why y'all, you so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans are Israelites. Because your father was named Israel. Your forefather name was changed to Israel. And they named the, uh, the, 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 the for, your forefather after the land. See, the land is named after the person. The person, we're not African. The name is named after a person. Africa is named after a white man called Leo Scipio Africanus. America, Amerigo Vespucci. All right. Those are two Caucasian Edomites. So when, 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 uh, when, um, when they call you African American, you're calling yourself after two Caucasians, two Edomites. And you, you're clearly not an Edomite. You're an Israelite, you know? Uh, but the reason why a lot of this uh, turmoil is going on, going on guess, guess what? The Lord, is, the Lord is behind it. The Lord is doing it. See, we, we've been, we've been uh, taught in church that Satan and uh, the Heavenly Father is, is beefing. And that's a lie. Satan is in order. Satan is doing what the Heavenly Father told him to do. Right. Did y'all know that? Yeah. All right. Satan, Satan is listening to the Heavenly Father. Satan don't got no control over the Heavenly Father. Y'all been lied to, you know? So and I'm going to prove that. It's always the woman who speaks out. Yeah. Because this place is out of order. It's out of order. It's out of order. The Heavenly Father is about order. It's not about equality. It's not about, uh, oh, he's equal to that. He's, no, it's about order. The Heavenly Father is about order. You got one, two, three, you got high, low. Uh, give me hold, give me Amos 3 and 6. Because I want to uh, go into how the Heavenly Father control me. Hey, these people think that when something happened in the, uh, the what they call the ghetto, they think Satan did it, you know? But that was behind the Lord. You know, that was the Lord caused that. Uh, Amos 3 and 6. So a trumpet be blown in the city and the people uh, and the people not be afraid. So there be evil in a city and the Lord has not done it. Yeah. So the Lord was behind it. And the Lord kind of questioned you like, kind of like sar sar being sarcastic, you know. That's like you saying, hey. You think I ain't do that? Yeah, I'm behind it. You know? But these people are foolish. The scriptures say my people are foolish for a lack of knowledge. You, you, you know, got, uh, some people who uh they put so much they give so much credit to Satan. Right. Give so much credit to to, to the white so, man. to the white man. Look yep. at this. This is uh Joel. I got two scriptures. Joel. Uh, three and three and it says they have cast lots for my people and had given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink yeah who else did that happen to yeah. who, who did that happen to that only happened to the so called the, the people on this side 
You know, that didn't happen to anybody in, in the other nations. But everybody forget about that. See, when we talk about the uh, what the Jew, the so-called Jewish people went through, you know, everybody gets in trouble. <laughs> they say uh, the people that you can't talk about, that's who running it, you know. Everybody want to keep talking about the Holocaust, you know. This, this was the real Holocaust right here. <laughs> the real Holocaust was you Negroes going into slavery 400, 500 years. But guess what? The same people that did that, they're going to have to go through that. Yeah, I got another one. All because right. it said that they cast lots for my people, right? Yeah. And it's uh, Pro Proverbs 16 and 33. It says, the lot is cast into the lap, but the whole disposing thereof is of the Lord. So when they was when they was casting lots, right? Like let's say you roll roll some dice, whatever number those dice roll on, that's what the Lord wanted to roll on. You know? So if you went to a casino or something like that, right? Which that's really just casting lots. Nothing wrong with that. You got people that think gambling is wrong. Yeah. There's nothing exactly. wrong with that. You have people back in ancient history that gambled. Right? Yeah. Remember that man who said, uh, uh, whoever does this, I'll give you my daughter. My uh, daughter. To, uh, that was King Saul. No, that wasn't King Saul. It, it was the, uh, the book of uh, Judges, I believe. The, the man they they had a little bet. Oh yeah. And they yeah, said, yeah. hey, whoever can do this, and then it was like his cousin or something like that. Yeah. They yeah, ended yeah. up ended up getting the getting money. A, getting, a, getting this, you know. Yeah. But uh, when you go to the casino and you can't, you, you know, roll the dice or whatever the case may be. How it all plays out is based off of the Lord anyway. Yeah. You know, scriptures talk about man's glories are of, of the Lord. Of the Lord. Yeah. But Jake don't get that. People don't get that. And they don't. And they don't want that. They don't even pick up the book to read. Like we constantly tell uh, Jake, hey, just pick up the book and read uh, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. You think they're going to do it? They don't even do it. They don't even pick up the book to read. Um, grab, uh, Grab uh, Amos seven and seven and seventeen, because uh, Jake don't realize that all of the, all of this stuff that's going on in the neighborhood, it was prophesied already. You know, the Lord said that you was going to go through these things. You know, you got people on the uh, the uh, YouTube talking about making 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 the so called white man out to be the, the most perfect angel. And then you will go to the, the uh, report a story and uh, so-called black people is, is supposed to be the worst people on earth. You know? Uh, this is um, uh, Amos 7 and 17. Therefore, thus says the Lord, that thou wife shall be an harlot in the city, and thy sons and thy daughter shall fall by the sword. A harlot, it says that wife shall be a harlot in the city, and the men shall fall by the sword. Ain't 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 so called Negroes dying in the street every day? That's a prophecy right here. We out here to tell you, hey, this all all of this history is in the scripture. You know? Look at um you said that wife should be a harlot in the street. Look at yeah. um Cardi B. Cardi B. Yeah. <laughs> See now they they uh they pushing out prostitution. They've been doing it for, for centuries, but now it's it's getting more and more, you know, they, they pushing, they just they just openly saying prostitution is is, is is good amongst and it's good to say there should be no uh harlot amongst the, 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 the daughters of Zion, you know? So you black women ain't supposed to be prostitute. But hey, y'all the biggest prostitutes out there now these days, you know? That's all the women, black women, talk about now is prostitution. You know, and if you if you um deal with them, man, just pop them and just yeah, on. yeah, you know, because they are nothing but prostitutes. They gonna they gonna fucking uh, try to milk you for all you got, man. Right. <laughs> and the regular woman do that. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was, that's what I'm talking about. So the, that's that. So the average woman. It's a prostitute. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the world, the world woman. You can't yeah. even ask them how many uh, <laughs> bodies they got. Oh, they, would. they wouldn't even be able to tell you that answer. Yeah, they would, they would and then they, they, there's a rule that if they say uh, 
seven, you gotta multiply that by by three. Yeah. <laughs> cause cause they cause uh they raise they raise under this Babylonian system that tells you to go out there and have your fun and live your life instead of get finding a uh Israelite man and and, and, and get you know married and get locked down to. We often watch uh Kevin Samuels, he be bringing out some good points. Uh, a lot of and we come to uh, find out a lot of black women they've been told a lot you know they are 30 and 40 and, and single you, a, a woman is supposed to have a man you know yeah but they're told to go after their career go play the field you they know don't wanna, they don't want to listen hey got this right yeah. here yeah first Timothy five and six but she that lives in pleasure is dead while she lives <laughs> <laughs> so y'all did y'all did you know and y'all and, and, and yeah. I see it. See, see the nigga woman ain't slick though. See so the they Lord sees everything. Yeah, the they Lord sees everything. And, and and they get mad when we tell them we this is real love. We telling you the truth, but you get mad at us. If anything, you should be glad that we telling you the truth. But that's that's telling you that y'all hate the truth. Y'all hate the truth, and then wonder why you be single with five cats, <laughs> fifty years old with five cats and you single. Playing with a thousand dildos, right. you know. <laughs> Hosea yes. yes. nine and one. Rejoice not, O Israel, for joy as other people. For thou hast gone a whoring from thy God. Yeah. Thou hast loved a reward upon every come co floor. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So the whole nation, <laughs> the nation, we we served, we uh went into the. The, the act of serving other gods when we were supposed to serve Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah. Right. You know? Yep. And hey, Lord, a lot of these gods, man, from these other nations, man, the shit that they be doing, they don't be righteous. Uh, look at look at them, uh, the Egypt, Egyptology. Yeah. Hey, you know, the uh, the women, man, they, the, the stuff that they was doing, there was some harness in that, that, that shit, man. You know, a lot of those women that be having those unks and shit like that. Mm-hmm. They they be the most fucking uh, that's why they call the biggest whore. Yeah. yeah, that's why the Egypt. That's why they say the queen of Egypt. Yeah, because you know? the queen means prostitute, yeah. basically whoring. Yeah. yeah. So uh, every time you call a black woman a queen, you call her a whore or a slut. You know, <laughs> our women ain't supposed to be whoring out in Babylon. They supposed to have one man dedicated to one man. Yeah. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. you tell them. Oh, a man can have more than one woman. Yeah. The first thing they say, well, why can't I get more yeah, than yeah. women? Yeah. yeah. Only in Babylon. <laughs> Only in, and this yeah. is Babylon the Great. Yeah. You know, America is Bab See, this people don't think. Understand, the Bible is written in code. The Bible is a textbook. But people think that you can just pick up the Bible and read it. Oh, look. Oh, this say this. No. You need people to teach you the scripture. It was written by man. That's right. the first thing that comes out. But then they had followed the, the Constitution. Yeah. <laughs> that was written by the white man. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So see, yeah. How, see how he, he kind of, you know, we heard you kind of stop when we said something about the black woman. But yeah. you listen, and now you kind of see it. Yeah. Our women ain't supposed to be doing that. Yeah. You know? You're supposed to have a woman to you and not to every other man. That's right. You know? That's why a woman to tell you, I'm through. You wasn't there for me no more. I'm going to be with another man. It'll be your best friend and shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Never fails. I think, you know, little Tookie. Oh, I got that right here. Proverbs 23 and 27. I got it. Oh, okay. okay. Proverbs 23 and 27. It says, for a whore is a deep ditch. <laughs> And a strange woman is a narrow pit, okay, which will, you know, narrow. Yeah. But the whore is a deep ditch because yeah. you never know what man went up in there, man. Yeah, it's all dug out. Yeah, it's like taking a shovel and you know you put your foot on it and push it in. And once that hole gets dug out like that, there's nothing to fill it. Yeah. So it's that's cool. when you look in there and you say, "Hello." Yeah. You might hear the echo. Right. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Like a cave in here. <laughs> 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 Moving up in here. <laughs> Moving up in here. <laughs> you hear that shit like, 
like five more times. Like, hey, this nigga come out of there. And then somebody come out of there. You know what? You know what? If that ever happened, you know what you do? You pull your shit off. <laughs> I'm 